Shalom, Messiah Christ Bless. My name is Officer Elijah. I'm with Israel United in Christ. I'm here to show you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you the Israelites according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Also, we are here to show our people why they're going through what they're going through. Give me a clean ass chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it hey, up. Brother, bring the brother down here. Brother, bring the brother down here. Because that's the problem with our communities, right? We resort to every other thing Tess. to deal with our problems except for taking responsibility. Except for taking res the left. Except for taking responsibility for the problems that we have in our lives, right? Because we don't have any answers. But read what you got right here. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4 and verse 1. Come on. So I returned and considered all the oppression that are done under the sun. All the what? All the oppression that are done under the sun. If you did not know this so-called black man, we are an oppressed people today. Just looked on the news, right? There's a sister that got shot by the police five times and she was pregnant right. she was a pregnant black woman and she was shot down by the police brother do you agree that we oppress people today so-called blacks do who goes through what we go through today bro but the prop who goes through what we go through today bro nobody like you're right nobody goes through what we go through but the question is what are we going to do about it right. what are we going to do about a sister it was one of your other sisters today in the news you seen about a pregnant black sister she got shot five times by the police why is this happening to our people? Read right. again. Listen up. Read. So I returned and considered all the oppression that are done under the sun. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed. And they had no comforter. And they had what? No comforter. They had no comforter. Why? Give me John. Who is the comforter? Give me John chapter 14. Right. Who is the comforter? Who is the comforter? Who is the comfort? Sisters, the scripture says that our people, because we are oppressed, we have no comfort. Matter of fact, give me Romans 15. Sister, hey, bring it down here. Bring it down here. Sister, sister, you seen today the news? Hey, we all do, sister. We all do. It, that's a part of our oppression. You're not even supposed to be working today. You're not even supposed to be working, my sister. You're not even supposed to be working. See, the thing is, the reason why we work is a result of our disobedience to the Most High God, sister. You're supposed to be sitting in work in the air conditioning. You're supposed to be relaxing. We're supposed to be getting served. But we're not today, sister. Why? My question was, why are we not being treated how we're supposed to be treated? Don't, don't we say we're, we're uh, kings and queens? Kings and queens, don't we say that? Don't we say that, sister? We say that all the time. Do we, are, we, are we treated like kings and queens? Say it again, sister. I've been over here. I done analyzed. I done listened to the word, the, the beginning, from where you say where we come from, mm -hmm. where we ain't, where we didn't come from. So you've seen this before? Yes, I have. Oh, because you know you're an Israelite? Excuse me? You know that you're an Israelite? Yes, I do. You do know you're an Israelite? Yes, I do. All right, so look, here's, what, here's the thing. If you did, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, if you did know that you were an Israelite, right? Israelite women have a certain dress code system. And a certain dress code is you are to be covered. You are to be covered, sister. You don't want all these mis perverts out here looking at all this, what you got? Right, but you shouldn't have left the house like that, sister. But that's that's why we out here for it. That's the result of our oppression, sister. Because we do the wrong things, God is judging us for that. Because we don't know that we are the Israelites. No, we don't know that we are Israelites. Now, the thing is, like I said, you are princes of the most high God. Right? So you should carry you to carry yourself like that 24-7. Not because I want to step out this house. I gotta grab something. You gotta grab something, put on a modest dress. Right. Why? Because men are gonna stare at you. Men are gonna try to advance on you. Right. Hey, today, how the way things are going today, men they don't care no more. You might end up getting taken. It's taken. Exactly. So that's why we out here to fix both men and women with the Bible. Yeah, exactly. So guess what? It's time to start today, sister. It's time to start today. But you gotta learn first. First, did you? That, that's it. You gotta know. First of all, you're an Israelite. Let me ask you something. Your father. On this, real quick. Come look at the sign. I get you. You listening now? You listening now? All right. Let me ask you something. Is your father African American? Would you say your father is a so-called African American? Would you identify as a so-called African American? What is he? Is he a Native American? Is he a so-called Hispanic? What is he? 
He's Haitian. Oh, praises. Ding, ding, ding. You won yourself a prize. That's the tribe of Levi. That's right. right. Listen, Israel, you're the mighty tribe of Levi. Right. Those are the priests of God. But today, the priests of God are eating mud cakes. Today, the priests of God are in Haiti or hell. That's how all the tribes of Israel are in hell. Right. Why? Because we are being oppressed by a peace by people who hate us. What are we going to do about it, sister? First, we got to come back to the commandments of God, right? And one of those commandments is a woman, she's not to be wearing what pertains to a man. Meaning what? What do men wear that women shouldn't be wearing, dress-wise? Women's clothing. Say it again? Give me some women clothing that men shouldn't be wearing. He shouldn't be wearing a dress. He shouldn't be wearing a what? He shouldn't be wearing a So you should have on a what? I should have on a bra and a what? A dress. And a what? There we go. All oh, praise to the Most High God. Stephen, we like you. We like you. We're going to get you tomorrow, okay? Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Come on, get up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. The Most High God says that is abomination and it's also confusion. God is not the author of confusion. Right. Brother, God is not the author of confusion. The Most High God, you are a son of. You are a descendant. Come on over, brother. We see you. You are a descendant of the greatest nation on the face of this earth. But the problem is, like we were talking about earlier, why are we going through what we're going through? The scripture says we don't have no comfort. What is the comfort? Your sister, listen up. We were talking to you. What is that comfort that the Bible is speaking of that we need? Because it says without it, we are oppressed people. It says without that comfort, we are oppressed people. Read what you got. What is that comfort? Romans 15 and 4. Romans 15 and 4. What is that comfort that the Bible is speaking of? Because we don't have, we are oppressed people. We have problems going on. Our people are on drugs. Our brothers are murdering each other. Our sisters are aborting our kids. Our sisters are bucking up against the husbands, against the men. We are all out of order because we don't have that comfort. Read what you got. This is the book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. Listen up, brother. For whatsoever things were written aforetime time were written for our learning. Were they what? For our Word, learning. See that L word, our people hate that L word, learning. Homing themselves down to learn. We get a certain age and we think that we know everything. But if we knew everything, our communities would be in order. There wouldn't be, there wouldn't be brothers on the corners selling poison to each other, destroying each other. Matter of fact, you wouldn't go into the white neighborhood and do that. That's no, right. you would do that to your brothers because you're destroyed. That's right. right? Read that again. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Right, might have hope. So what was something else that was written aforetime? What's going to happen today? Give me Matthew chapter 24 and give me verse 30 what about the days of Noah. Because right now, you see all these types of pestilences going on. You see the types of sickness, monkey pox, black, black plague, COVID-19, every single thing is hitting the earth at one time. Why is that? What is going on? The Bible says that the things were written aforetime was written for our learning. So what's going on today? Do, do, it, is it, is it, we say that term that these things are happening or have happened, that was back in Bible times. Are we not still living in Bible times? Yes, the Bible is still unfolding. Meaning guess what? These things that God said were going to happen back then are still happening today. Well, so what are those things? Let's Catch you up that the Bible said it was written up four times. Start at, you know, you there? Yeah, read what you got. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 37. Which is another reason why we're out here for you so-called black men. We're here to warn you from the destruction that is coming. Right. Black women, we're here to warn you of the destruction that is coming. Come and save your lives. Black men, come and save your life. Take back what belongs to you. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 37. Come on, no. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. The days of Noah was Noah built a big boat that saved him and his family from destruction. Right. We're trying to warn y'all to come onto that boat. Get delivered from the destruction. Read on. 
For as in the days that were before the flood, the days that were what? Before the flood, come on, they were eating and drinking. Like today, we're eating and drinking. We go to the stores, we go to the ABC stores. It's business as usual. Meanwhile, our people were are being murdered by the masses. We see what happened up in New York a week ago. Our people were slaughtered like cattle. Right. Our people are murdered by the second. What we do? We march for a little bit. Then we get quiet, then we let the cycle happen all over again. When are we going to wake up? Sisters, when are we going to wake up? People, when are we going to wake up? We do the same things over and over. We march, we protest, and then afterwards what? We get rocked right back to sleep, and then the cycle begins again, getting killed by the numbers, That's by right. the boatload. Read on. Mary, and giving in marriage. Marrying and giving in marriage, come on. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew and knew not until the flood came. And did what? And knew not until the flood came. Just like today, we don't know when that nuclear destruction is coming. Right. But guess what? Take the warning. That's what your brothers are out here for to warn you people, to warn you that destruction is coming to America. Right. Read on. And so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. In like manner, so the same way that Jesus of Christ is going to return. The same manner. God sent the prophets out, taught, while also delivering their own souls. It's the same things that's going on today, brother. Don't you agree? The same things that was going on in the days of Noah, brother, is going on today. Our people, the, the Lord sends the prophets out. Gives the warning, but a lot of our people is not going to listen. Are you going to be the one to save your life? Are you going to be the one that delivers your life today? We know what you got. And then shall two be in the field, uh -huh. and one shall be taken, uh -huh. and the other left. Uh -huh. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. Hey, brother. What we're reading about here in the Bible, did you know that, uh, that uh, nuclear bombs are in the Bible? Did you know that? You ever heard that in church? Has the pastor ever told you about that? How did, did uh, are you familiar with the story of uh, Noah's Ark? Are you familiar with that? God said that first time he said he was going to destroy the earth with what? First time of water. What's the second time? Fire. With what? Fire. So you think that that fire, the cloud is just going to open up and this fire is going to rain down? No, I always thought the fire going to be nuclear weapon. There we go. Let's prove that. Second Peter. We're going to show you and we're going to show you how to deliver yourself. If you would listen, if you listen, we're going to show you how to deliver yourself from that destruction. Because God said that two-thirds of his people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as you see on the sign, your people, two-thirds of them are going to die. They're not going to listen. They're going to hear this. They're going to say, oh, that sounds good. Or, y'all are the devil. I, this is my past name showed me this. And they're going to go about their lives, and they're going to be disintegrated. Right? So we're going to show you, Second Peter. Where we got? This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 10. Hey, brother, what's your name? Man? What's your name? Eugene. Hi. Eugene, 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 Eli. All right, so we're going to show you in the Bible, thus saith the Lord, nuclear weapons. Read what you got. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 10. Come on. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Just like it did in the days of Noah. Oh, did yeah. they know when it was going to rain? But Noah was warning them, right? We are, in a sense, we're Noah. That's Get on the boat. <laughs> Read. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. With a what? With a great noise. What weapon makes a great noise when it is launched? A bomb. A bomb. That noise is boom. Right? Read on. And the elements shall melt away with fervent heat. With what? Fervent heat. Come on. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Shall be what? Burned up. What are you reading? I am reading the Bible. What verse and chapter? Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. So we read it to you in the New Testament. Now we're going to give it to you in the Old Testament. Because Pastor said the Old Testament done away with. We ain't got to read that no more. We delivered by the blood. Right? Give me Zechariah. Zechariah 14 and 12. God's been saying the same things from the beginning of time. We're just hard-headed. We want to do what we want to do. But, bro, we're going to show you in the Old Testament that the Old Testament, number one, things have happened. Things have not yet happened in the Old Testament that are happening today and are going to continue to happen as time goes on. Right. We're going to show you. Read what you got. 
This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 14 and verse 12. Come on. And this shall be the plague wherein the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Now, what's a plague? Is a plague a good thing? Plague usually isn't a good thing. So God said, this is the plague. This is the thing. This is the bad, horrible thing that he's going to do to the people who are oppressed, the so-called black suspense in Native America. Are we not oppressed today in America? Or do we not have enemies? Do we not have enemies? That young man, that uh, that uh, that devil that shot up our people up in New York? That demon that shot up those kids down in Texas? Do we not have enemies? Where's the black man loved at? Where's the black man loved at? You tell me, Mr. Eugene. Nowhere. The Bible said that, but guess what? In here also holds what is going to uplift and build the black man. That's right. If you will receive it. We right. are. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What weapon back then is going to consume flesh while you stand up on your feet? Is an arrow going to do that? Is a sword going to do that? No, it's not going to do that. This is talking about heat. Melting the flesh off your bones while you stand. You ever seen Terminator 2? You ever seen that scene when they hold on to the gates and then that fire comes and it blows them off and the meat melts off, they fl the flesh melts off the bone? God said that they, they got that from this. If you want to make a great movie, you use the Bible. That's Everybody's right. using the book, the Bible, but except for the black man who the book was made for. Right. Read. 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 And their eyes shall consume away in their home. Y'all listen up. We saw y'all in the Old Testament, which Pastor said, don't read how God is going to destroy the earth. If you do not repent by nuclear fire, read. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. What is a bullet doing that? A bullet is not doing that. That is nuclear weapons. That's right. Every single one of these nations that are power possess. I'm going to show you that. And guess what? God's going to gather them all together and let them loose on America. Right. Right. Let them loose on America. Revelation 18 to 4. Drop that. Then afterwards, I'm going to show you, brother, what you need to do to get on that boat. Because our deliverance is going to be strange. It's going to be strange. You ever heard of UFOs? You ever heard of that? You ever heard of that term before? Guess what? Those aren't UFOs. Those aren't unidentified. The Bible identifies them. Those belong to God. Right. That's our way up out of here. Swing low, sweet cherry. That's our way up out of here. But that's only if you adhere to the law. That's God. right. Read what you got. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. Read it up. up. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come on. Come out of her, my people. Do what? Come out of her, my people. God says, come out of her, my people. How do we come out of her? The heart is America. How do we come out of her, America? 2 Corinthians 6 and 17. We're going to show you how to come out of her. Is it talking about everybody get on a boat and then go back to Africa? Is it talking about that? No, it's not. This is a spiritual thing. This book is a spiritual book. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. Y'all listen up. This Read. is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. Come Wherefore, come out from among them. Come among who? Come out from among them. Come on. And be ye separate. The them is talking about is these other nations. The so-called white man, the so-called Arab man, the so-called Chinese man. These people hate us. That's they right. They hate us. God says, come out of them. What? And read on. And be ye separate. And be ye what? Separate. Be ye what? Separate. I don't mean go to the parties with them. Go to the barbecues with them. Go to the, uh, stay at the job. Uh, stay at these, uh, the uh, after parties. Go to the ball with them. God says what? Be ye separate. Come on. Saith the Lord. Uh -huh. And touch not the unclean thing. God calls them the unclean thing. What is something today that the black woman does to make themselves unclean? Proverbs 3 and verse 31. Yeah. We're standing right next to it. Blonde hair, red hair, purple hair, green hair. I don't know if I'm looking at clowns. When I step outside, you see every single different color inside the black woman's hair except for her own. Why? Because she envies her oppressor. Right. That's the problem. We envy our oppressors. We hate ourselves and we love these other nations who hate us. God That's says, right. come out from among them and don't touch the unclean thing. Read what you got. This is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 3 and verse 31. This for you, sister. Read. Envy thou not the oppressor. You know how we envy our oppressor? We want to look like them. We want to dress like them. We want to be like them. Whole time the 
they want to be just like you, black that's woman. Right, they want right. to be just like you, black man. But you hate yourself because you don't know who you are. But the answer's always been right here in the Holy Bible. That's right. Your book. You are the gods of this earth, black man. That's and you right. need to come back to your book. Read right. And choose none of their way. do what? Choose none of their way. That's how you come out of America. Right. Choose none of our ways. Christmas, Memorial Day, Thanksgiving. What was going on on these time frames with black people in America? We were slaves. That's right. We were slaves. Right. And yet we still pick up their traditions, their holidays, which are celebrating your destruction, black man. Right. And you celebrate those things. You choose their ways. Jeez. That's ignorant as hell. Right. That is dumb as hell. But yet, you want to do what you want to do. God said, that's how you're going to deliver your soul. Come out from their ways. Come back to God's laws. Now, I'm going to show you some of God's laws today. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.